Well, Mark, I, I'm not really sure what to believe uh, from from uh, Larry Tunsil's stepfather, Mr. Miller. Uh, I don't know. We're only hearing one side of the story, he, and he's only telling us, uh, and we, we know there's bad blood in the family. We, we know there's been issues there. Uh, he's only telling us what he wants us to know that he may have told the NCAA. We don't even know for for, for fact that that's actually what he told the NCAA. We also don't hear Ole Miss's side of the story. So right now, uh, from a PR perspective, it's a one-sided story uh, from, from the Miller camp. Uh, the NCAA is notoriously long on these investigations. This will drag out a year or two. Uh, the players involved will have long been gone, I think, by the time the NCAA gets around to this. Uh, so I, I do think Ole Miss fans probably need to be a little bit worried. Uh, the NCAA is going to dig into the Ole Miss program, but uh, but I really have a hard time believing uh, the Miller story. Uh, and additionally, the other thing is for Miller to make these accusations that it's a complex system that the school is providing the boosters, he has to show them or at least give them the evidence or, or give them the lead of how the boosters are connected to the school. Certainly if the boosters are doing things wrong, Ole Miss can be held accountable for uh, the program, but, it, but if there's no if there's no uh, clear linkage between the school and the boosters, that limits what the NCAA can do to the school. So I have a really hard time uh, really believing the Miller story and, and until I see facts that support that. Uh, Ole Miss fans should be a little bit worried, uh, but, but I don't think it's as serious for Ole Miss yet as it could be. It could get serious, but remember, we're only hearing the Miller side of the story, and I think we should approach that uh, with a little bit of healthy skepticism. Yeah, guys, I'm going to kind of take a different direction in this because, um, you know, our, our good friend Evie is, uh, you know, has is, is been really close uh, friend of mine as well, and, and so is her husband David. And I've had a chance to kind of chat with her a little bit about some things, and I do think it's maybe a little bit more severe uh, than intentionally uh, being understood. And the reason why I say that is because it, I think this is going to come down to what the NCAA during their investigation deems proof, being that it's not a legal entity. Uh, it, it can, and we've seen this in the past, you guys have seen this in the past, where severity uh, of punishments have varied greatly uh, beyond, you know, uh, you know, it may be some of the same actual, pun you know, the same broken rules, but punishments have varied in the past. We've seen that in, in, with the NCAA. So what I'm looking at and what I'm thinking is that what they deem to be proof, what they deem to set up the storyline as to what has happened. I feel like that's kind of the direction we're going here because of the fact that Miller spoke to them for 100 plus hours. You don't speak to somebody for 100 plus hours and show them texts, Facebook messages, Twitter, things of that nature. Um, all this proof that he supposedly has, you, you don't spend that amount of time with somebody if, if there's not something there. Um, I think they're, they're trying to create maybe a, a line of, is this a cultural issue? Because there are so many infractions at this point. And the other thing is to keep in mind, in 2017, they were supposed to have a board meeting. And at that point, we're going to talk about some of the punishments that would be deemed or doled out to Ole Miss at that time. If uh, before then, you know, during this investigation, um, they have to actually stop to go and investigate uh, a player and his comments that were made at, during the draft, um, that tells me that there, there's something here, guys. Um, and how much of a smoking gun, we'll have to wait and see. But I do feel like you know when the punishment comes, it could be pretty severe for Ole Miss considering the amount of, of allegations that we're seeing that are not just football-oriented, but they're in other sports as well. And that looks more like... Um, institutional or cultural issues, and maybe that's the picture the NCAA is trying to paint here uh, with these allegations that they've come up with. Is there any more beside Miller's uh, evidence that they have that we don't have, know of, or does the NCAA even need more? Uh, is what they have enough to go forward and, and you know, um, I, don't, I think a lot of this, what we read in the articles, is a lot of information we kind of already knew, but just maybe a little bit more detail uh, and it's kind of hard, maybe the question looms, is can Miller be trusted due that he and Tunzel have been at odds for a good while now? He seems to have some evidence that he can give. Uh, I guess we probably really don't know if that's going to be enough for uh, the NCAA. And I think for Ole Miss is when, if they do find out something from the NCAA, 
when does that come out? You know, is it anytime soon? Does it hang over their head for the whole season? Do they find out if they're on the SEC championship run that, uh oh, here comes the big punishment? You know, does that set up for a bowl ban or, you know, they got this great season going and then all this falls. I think there's a lot of questions that are, you know, Ole Miss fans start have to ask themselves how harsh is the punishment and when does it come out that, uh, that you know, it could be a pretty devastating for a, maybe a successful season that Ole Miss has. And, David, to your point, hanging over the program, you got to wonder about how it's going to affect the recruits because in the SEC – the, the, the difference between the schools is razor thin. So if you're if you're a five-star, four-star recruit and you're looking at what school you want to go to, and you've got it narrowed down to three or four, and one of those schools has that cloud of probation hanging over its head, that, that absolutely might make the difference on what school you choose to go to. 